It's my honour to present the Sports Award to Greg Lugans. Thank you so much. I, I lost it. Uh, you know what? Attitude. Um, and thank you, Dad Wire and Virgin, for the sponsorship. It means so so much. Um, I wanted to share with you. Please be patient with me. Um, a letter to my 16-year-old self. Dear 16-year-old Greg, I know you aren't going to believe me, but life is going to get better. And actually, the darkness and grays that you've been living in will pass. Young man, you so desperately wanted just to be hold, held. You are a lovely, sensitive, caring young man. I know you don't see that right now, but you are worth more than you know. That feeling of failure will pass, and in time, people, you will allow people in and instead of pushing them away. You will make lots of mistakes along the way about what love is and what you have to offer as a person and human being of value. You will learn your dad really is proud of you, and he loved you too, but didn't know how to show it. You are not going to get the love that you want, but you will learn people do the best they can with what they know. You're going to find the love in yourself and learn to forgive yourself and others. You've been rough on your mom just a few months prior to this, but you will forgive yourself and she will teach, teach you that she loves you, when, even when you don't love yourself. She will teach you, by example, unconditional love. There's a man you met in your life that will teach you the meaning of the words respect and trust. He will be your coach. That was my coach, Juan O'Brien. He's a blessing to you. To give you proof of love, he will stay by your side when you think no one else will. Ron O'Brien will be the love that you will learn transcends the definition. You will also understand those confusing feelings about yourself, about having, about who you are, and falling in who, who you fall in love with. It's your nature to love, and it is just who you are that you love a man. It's okay. You will survive your suicide attempts, and something glorious will happen. Not right away. You'll sulk for some time, but you will start questioning why you're here and realize God doesn't make mistakes. You will also learn you weren't discarded. You were loved when you, your natural family, biological mother and father, gave you up for adoption, put you in foster care, and hoped for a better life for you. You will learn what an amazing gift they gave you. I know you can't imagine living past 30, but you will live well beyond that and learn you can love and be loved. Those hurts, bumps, and bru bruises you're going you're gonna to let go of, and you're going to see them as blessings of your life. They will teach you compassion, empathy, I can barely write this as I feel this black hole that you feel as you. You're going to stop judging as others have judged you. You will find you are a brilliant young man, and you will find your voice. It isn't loud and boisterous, but honest and true. I wish I could hold you close to me, but you'll be okay. And you're going to stumble and fall quite a few times. But you will get up, not right away all the time, but you will. You will face things you could never imagine, but you will love your life and the people in it. I know for all that you need to learn, I need to let go. And in this letter, that's what I'm doing. I write it out of love, but I know that I must let go as well, set you free 
free to fall, free to make those choices, to stand again taller than you ever were. I know you will find it hard, but little man, I love you. And I'm so, so proud of you. Love, your 57-year-old self. Yeah.